Hi mga kainday! Welcome back to our channel! So for this vlog, we're gonna talk about the... N <laughs> NFAQ Part 2! So, so ito guys, yes. yung not frequently asked questions again. Galit na galit yung mic. So, uh, anything, ano... Uh, <laughs> About aviation. Yes. So, if you haven't seen that previous vlog, yes, ito siya. Ito ito siya. So please watch it, guys. Para kasi nga continuation to. So para yes. makarulit. <laughs> Madadagdagan yung mga yes. knowledge. Madadagdagan yes. yung knowledge nyo and powers. So, Let's go. Yes. So ito yung ano talaga. Kakaiba kasi usually, di ba, FAQ. So ito, NFAQ. Not frequently so, asked questions. Let's begin. Number one. Why are there no parachutes in commercial planes? Why? Why not? So, uh, there are no parachutes because commercial planes are designed na hindi pwedeng tumulun sa aircraft. And mahal siya. Very expensive. And syempre, dagdag siya sa weight. So, uh -uh. if ever may parachute na tayo sa aeroplano, mas mahal yung flights natin, ganyan. Tsaka, it ang add, uh -oh. Kailangan mo pa mag-train, parang, we're yes, not I know. all... We're not gonna teach all the passengers, passengers to how to control the parachutes, mm -hmm. diba? You'll never know where will Baka you land. sa desert. Diba? Or... Yung isa pala napunta yeah. sa Iceland, yung isa napunta yeah. sa... Okay. Number two. Number two. Can you open the cabin door mid-flight? The answer is... No, no, you cannot. Yeah. Kasi ang airplanes, usually meron siyang, naka-design na rin siya, uh -oh. na pag na-reach na niya yung certain altitude na ganito, hindi na, kaya, kasi hindi kasi na like, open yung door. Kahit si Superman ka pa, hindi mo siya ma-open. Yes. <laughs> kasi yung pressure, yes. cabin pressure, ah, syempre diba, nag-iiba yan pag tumataas sa aeroplano. So, Parang ano, para siyang mas squeeze. Kumbaga, hindi mo siya talagang kaya i-open palabas. I-open yung door. Oo. Oh, oh. Yeah. Pero yung mga napapanood nyo sa movies, ganyan, uh -oh. usually nasa bandang baba na yan. Uh Oo. -oh. Baka Kasi, siguro 10,000 feet below. Oo, oh, ganun. Yun na yung time na pwedeng mabuksan na yung yes. doors. Third is, why One. pointing a laser at the plane is a serious crime? Okay. So, so this is oh, oh. actually naturo sa atin to ng mm -hmm. training eh. Pag may tumapat na laser sa, let's say, sa, sa pilot, ibig uh -oh. sabihin, there's a danger na. Uh -oh. So, di ba, may tendency na pag nag-laser, di ba, pwedeng may barilang maganap, di ba? Pwede din maging, um, inca maging incapacitate yung pilot. Kasi, di ba, laser lights are yeah, for dangerous the eyes, for yes. the eyes. So, pwede maging blind or pwede magkaroon ng glare. So, yeah. Yung mga ganong instances. Importante pa oh. naman ng piloto, syempre. Yes. Yeah, so, ayun. Ano siya talaga? Like, nasa law siya. Federal law yeah. something. So, may actually, may fine eh. Um, penalty ranges from $11,000 to $30,800. So, Grabe. ano yun sales? Diba? <laughs> US dollars. So, sobrang so, seryoso kung... talaga. Oh. Grabe. So, next question is, why pilots can't have the same meal? Oo nga. Hmm. Alam mo, actually, kasama to sa training, training namin. Training din. Tinuro service. din sa amin yeah. to ng training. So, hindi ka pwedeng magbigay ng meals. Na parehas. Na chicken, para sa chicken, or Because ganyan, there's a fish. possibility na may ma-food ma food poison. poison. So, kung si captain, tinake niya yung chicken, and, and may food po may poison yun, siya lang yung ma- Siya lang yung ma-incapacitate. So, meron pang other pilots na pwedeng mag- um, mag-perform nung duty, uh -oh. diba? So, that's why. Galing, no? Yeah, pala. <laughs> Galing, no? <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, next question is, why does your taste buds change in flight? During flight? Hmm. Hindi lang actually taste, eh. Even the, your sense of, sense of smell. Let's say, sa mga ayun. food, diba? Yung pag-salty. Nababawasan yung saltiness and niya. And sweetness. Su actually, sweetness and saltiness. Salty. Pag nasa aeroplano. Pag nasa uh -oh. aero ka na. Kasi, syempre... Your body is also pressurized kapag nag-adjust din. Oo, nag-adjust din yung body mo. So, uh, affected yung sense of smell and sense of taste. Actually, nagle-lessen yung sense of taste mo hmm. by 30%. That's 30%. A fact. <laughs> yes. So, ayun. Saka actually, <laughs> actually, saka yung dryness ng aircraft, may meron din siya. It has also something to do, do with your senses. Ano. Kaya pag Oops. ano, 'di ba, sa flight, parang feeling mo ang bland ng mga food. Ng mga food. 
It's not because of the food. Mm. It's Pero because of your taste buds. Yeah, pag kinain mo naman siya sa baba, okay na ba? Actually, <laughs> pag kinain mo mga stopovers. Ang sakto naman yung lasa niya. Pero pag nasa Erica, tanging Parang, salt and pepper. Yeah. <laughs> so, kala, lag, kalagi kami may dalang salt and pepper kasi passengers always ask for salt and pepper. Yes. So, the next question is, Why are the passengers' window round? Oh, oh nga, actually. Diba, Alam mo, before, never asked about oh, oh. this kind of Pero question. before, they started um, with the squid square windows. Windows. Tapos, nag-crash yung dalawang. Basta, nag-crash siya. And then, they figured it out agad na it's because of the windows. The window. Kasi, syempre, di ba, grabe yung pressure in, in flight pag lalo na uh, tumaas ka, ganyan. So, yung corners, dun napupunta yung pressure. So, yung stress, napupunta dun. So, it tendency is mag-break yung glass. Yeah, instead na nag-circulate Oo. yung air Parang sa loob. Parang mas less stressed kasi siya mm-hmm. kapag round. So, ayun yun. <laughs> diba pag sobrang pressure, there's Uh-oh. a chances na may sasabog. Yes. Diba with your eardrums nga Uh-oh. lang, diba? Circular shapes are also stronger and <laughs> may coding. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> may <na> memories. <laughs> Ito nga. So, circular shapes are also stronger and resist deformation and can survive extreme pressure differences. So, yun okay. yung reason. Next question is, what are the possible reasons why some flights cancel even if all the passengers are already on board? Yes. First, um, syempre, mechanical issues. So, minsan kasi may glitches sa computer na mm. minsan while boarding or kahit on board na yung mga pilots nang check na so meron silang checklist so they check everything you never may know kasi oo oh, oh. na minsan may biglang mag-appear mm, na, na problem sa, sa system ganyan, or sa, system sa ano. nila engine na try ay na experience ko sa LA going back to mm. Manila nagkaroon ng something basta may nasirang uh, may nasirang part, equip, part ng air, aircraft And then, they asked for a replacement. Mm-hmm. So, una, na-delay-delay de- na muna. As in, extend ko na rin. O sige, delayed four hours. So, naging four, another four hours. Mm-hmm. Eh, may maximum, di ba, ang crew? Yeah. We mm-hmm. have a maximum na, eh, hon ko actually, Work ko duty, ilang hours. Work duty, Oo, na hindi kami pwedeng mag- Extend, um, extend beyond, or on. go beyond. Yes. So, ngayon, na-cancel hours. yung flight namin kasi walang extra crew. Kasi so, parang yung a possible na, reason. Oo. Walang crew. Kulang yung crew. Yes, Sige, walang walang. crew na mag-ooperate ng flight. And then, possible also sa weather. Let's say, Oo, naka, weather. on board na. Um, let's say, the destination na pupuntahan nyo, biglang nag-close. Oo. So, there's Upward a chances closure. talaga na mag-close. I mean, na ma-cancel yung yes. flight kasi, kasi saan ka pupunta? <laughs> so, mag-lalan. So, <laughs> so, so, naka-take off na yung aircraft, mada-divert siya. Mada-divert siya. Pero pag, But once it's on still there, pa, walang magagawa. Pwede pa siya maka-cancel. maka yeah. siya. For medical issues naman, wala naman kasi tinata- usually tatanggalin lang yung passenger. I-disem- oo, diba? i-disembark yung passenger. Pag nagka-problem. And then, possible reason na hindi talaga matuloy yung flight, nagka-terrorist. Oo, oh, oh, syempre. <laughs> Wala ka-threat agad. Diba? Ano? Diba may, may threat, mga oh, bomb threat? Diba minsan, oh, usually. So, yung sa... mga those kind of danger, syempre, hindi na matutuloy yung flight. Kasi possible siya mangyari on ground before flying <laughs> eh. And, isa pa din is runway closures. So, mm-hmm. ang mga reason nito kung ba't nagko-close ang runway ng uh, agad-agad is uh, yung mga nagla-land na nag- o overshoot. So, ngayon, syempre, hindi nila pwedeng galawin agad yung airplane. So, kinuklose nila yung runway. Kasi, di ba, may mga yeah. ganun na nangyayari. Na sumasadsad sa grass or Mm-mm. na fa-flat yung gulo. May mga ganun na happening. Yeah. Tapos, meron din ako na try nun. Well, actually, hindi na cancel yung flight. Na-divert kami. Pero, mm-hmm. for sure, yung mga nasa ground na aircraft yeah, yung na mga cancel kasi na. nagka-potholes. Mm. Nagkakabutas oh, yeah. yung, yung runway. Nagkaroon ng problema yung So, ano. ewan ko, dahil ata may nagland na isang aircraft na siguro nasira yung mm. asphalt. So, nabutas siya. So, so kailangan nila ayusin. So, hindi na siya pwede gamitin. Oo, ay, ay, ano yung ipifill pa nila yung hole na yun, papatuyuin yeah. pa nila. Tsaka mag-open ulit yung runway. Kasi e, syempre, sa Philippines, medyo mag- hindi maganda. Tsaka isa lang yung ano natin, isang runway, runway. lang for... 
uh, big aircraft, di ba? Oo. Tapos isang for small. Kaya sa ngayon, ginagawa ng government <laughs> or ng mga private sectors. Yeah. Build na sila ng bagong airport. Yes! <laughs> yes, yes, finally! <laughs> Kaya buwan in Clark. <laughs> And then, Actually, ewan ko kung totoo yung sa Bulacan, di ba? May sa San Miguel well, ba? Oh, oh. But Sana hopefully, totoo at diba? matuloy. Para hindi na rin masyado crowded. Crowded sa Manila. Manila. Yes. yes. One to the last question. What, What is the, the worst plane crash in, in the history? Hmm. This is Ito called the crash. crash of the century, ha? Yes. Ito yung crash na so, uh, parang pinakamaraming namatay. Namatay. So, this happened March 27, 1977. 1977. So, hindi pa tayo buhay, sis. Yes. <laughs> Ito ay nangyari sa Tenerife Airport. Um, dalawang Boeing 747 yung nag-collide. These are flights ng KLM flight at Pan, Pan Am flight. Itong dalawang airplane na to, um, na-divert lang sila because There was, a, an, there was a terrorist, terrorist attack incident. sa sa, ano? sa destination nila sa Canary Islands. Canary Island. The airport actually is just small. Very small airport mm, so siya. So sobrang so hindi talaga siya time. nakaka-accommodate talaga Oo, ng mga ng, big aircraft. Tsaka ang dami so, din nagland that time oh, doon. Talagang eh. na-divert kasi nga nag-close nga yung Canary, sa, Canary Island yeah, Airport. Canary. So what happened? Nagkaroon ng bad weather. As in zero visibility. visibility. So nakakuha sila ng clearance na pwede na silang bumalik ng Canary Islands. KLM, since si KLM unang dumating, so, siya yung siya unang yung priority take for takeoff and then followed by Pan Am. So daan sila ng runway since maliit nga yung airport, runway lang yung pinaka pwede nilang daanan. Yeah. So nauna na yung KLM followed Plus, by Pan. Na- Magpas siya and then yung KLM naman, syempre nandoon na siya ready na siya naka-question na siya. siya eh for take off na siya. Eh. Ito yung itsura eh, parang ito yung KLM. Ito yung magkaharap sila, guys. Yeah, magkaharap sila and then Ganyan, Pan Am dapat pa-exit. mag-exit ng ganto. Uh-oh. So what happened is basta basically nagkaroon ng miscommunication with the pilots and the control tower. Yes. Nag-take off si KLM. KLM without the without really having the go signal from the, from the control, control tower. tower. Tapos eh, pa-exit na sa pa-exit runway pa lang, pa lang si... Pan Am. Pa-exit pa lang siya. So, nung na nag-take KLM. off na yung KLM, KLM. mabilis Tumama na siya. siya so, sa... nag-clash, nag-collide na sila. Yeah. And there happened the major crash. Yes. And guys, sa KLM flight, lahat na matay. As in zero. As in zero talaga. survivors. Pero sa Pan Am flight, there were um, 61 survivors. survivors. Uh, sila yung mga nasa front area ng aeroplano. Ang total fatalities is... 583. 583 total fatalities. Grabe, no? Grabe. So, until sobrang, now, actually, siya pa rin yung parang... Yes, worst talaga. Worst, until uh, now. Crash. Kaya, they call it nga the crash of the century. As in, yun talaga yung first yes. time kasi na nangyari yung ganun. Na, so far, thank you, Lord, hindi pa naman siya yeah. nangyayari ulit. And hopefully, hindi na siya mangyayari like mm. ever Siyempre again. Siyempre naman, parang lesson learned na rin yan sa lahat. Diba? Kaya, if you're listening to our previous yung part 1 nito 'di ba yung control ta- communication between the control yes, tower and, and the, the pilot is very important, important. kasi kayo din naman tayo tayo Uh-oh. din yung mapapahamak kaya wag kayong magse-cellphone yung kumbaga <laughs> they have the eyes eh. kumbaga nakikita nila yung flow ng airport Mm-mm. nung runway ganyan nung yan nga kaya wag kayong magse-cellphone kasi diba? in- yun talaga interfere yan sa signal nila guys yes Exactly. So, baka na time na yun, no? Siya, <laughs> dami na sa cellphone. Nag-report na, oh gosh, we got diverted. Hindi, <laughs> yes. yun na nga, kasi due to the bad weather, tapos Isa siguro may mga nag-cellphone nga. <laughs> so, yun, Talagang... signal, signal, ano talaga, na interfere yung signal. So, medyo, one reason na din yung comi- misunderstanding sa communication ko, but nangyari yung incident na to. <laughs> We heard of this story talaga nung training pa. Training pa, pa lang. Actually, lahat ng no, mga, di ba, bombings and all that. Oh, yung um, mga incident. Mga incident, yung mga hijacking, pinapanood talaga sa amin. Siguro yun yung inaan tayo na, ano, sure ba kayo na itutuloy? Oo oh, nga. Oh, <laughs> Sabi, I, actually, I got scared for a bit. Kasi, Uh-oh. syempre, well, may possibility din naman talaga. Pero nga, kasi nga, yun nga yung reason ng training. Eh. That's why we are getting They're trained. They're opening our eyes. Kasi, oh, tsaka, we know the we, sh- we should know the possibilities and dapat alam namin yung gagawin if ever mangyari man yung mga ganun bagay like yeah. yun nga yung mga hijacking bomb yeah, threats threat, so, in case there's fire yes. and all that emergencies that could happen yeah. during the flight kaya kasama siya sa training kasi yes. dapat ready kami to handle 
those kinds of situations, situations. if ever mayari siya. Yes. So that's pretty much it, guys. Yes. Again, if you haven't watched the part the one, part one you may check it, it here or yes. there. But actually, again, it's in the description there. box. Yeah. Ayan. And nandito na rin yung link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you on our next see vlog. See you on our next vlog. Bye. Bye.